what is going on guys um got a couple of things to show you on this new video um it's sunday so pretty nice day we're gonna go ahead to the junkyard uh, first show you some things i got done last night Got the manifold all done, got the O2 sensor put down on the down pipe down there. And then got this wastegate pipe re-welded uh, by a buddy of mine's friend. And then got a nice little screen put on there, so it felt good. I did a tiny little pool last night, probably like 80% throttle. I'm just letting everything break in, um, pretty much. So I'm going to try and take it smooth for a little bit. But other than that, runs good. But... Now, we're gonna go ahead to the junkyard and see if we can find a hood for this because mine's got the holes in it from when I had the hood exit. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Came to the junkyard. There's this tan DA. There was a black one. We pretty much scored. Got the taillights out of it, the hood. I found some LS special seats. These taillights are pretty nice too. This sucks that this hood's a little dead in it, but be able to hammer that out. I wasn't able to record them onto the junkyard, but we're still here, but we're getting everything. But we were able to get the hood, a fender, and we found some LS special seats and a couple other things. So once we get those home, we'll look at them all and put them all together, whatever. Okay, so this right here, is the new hood um, when I first got it I had this little crease right here but I uh, got it to go down a little bit with a rubber mallet but other than that everything turned out really good um, my other buddy you saw in the previous clip he actually got some really fresh taillights and uh, some LS special seats well you probably can't really find them at all and uh, he got something else too but for two D's in the junkyard, it's really good score. But everything turned out pretty good. I still have the old hood for sale. Or, well, it's not really for sale, but if somebody wants it on the DMV area on the East Coast, they can have it. This is the old hood. Uh, still got the holes from the hood exit on it. But it's black and the paint's really bad on it. As you can see, that's another reason why I switched it besides the holes. But uh, other than that, um, I drove the car yesterday. It was pretty smooth. So um, there's supposed to be a meet tonight. So I'll probably go out there with the car and then I'll probably end, all, end the video off there. But other than that, today was a really good day. And I just wiped the hood down. And the hood actually turned out really good. I wiped it down, wet it down some. I mean, it's kind of faded in the middle, but nothing a little wrap job won't fix. But this car's starting to turn out really good. It's really came a long way from being crappy automatic to a turbo five speed in a few years. Um, but uh, definitely a nice car and definitely a nice thing to have definitely would recommend anybody getting one if they have the opportunity to come by it but uh i'm gonna finish cleaning the rest of this car up because it ain't been washed in months and uh we'll see you probably at the car meet i know this video's kind of been all over the place but before this meet tonight while well, i have some time to kill this headlight's kind of really oxidized as to where that one is really nice looking um so I'm going to try this little trick that I've seen. Probably not going to last very long, but it is um, toothpaste with baking soda in it. Just rub that in to get some of the oxidiza ox eh, oxidization out. And then um, we'll see what the really end result is. So apparently you just keep rubbing this in for probably a good five, ten minutes. Then let that sit there. And then after a while you like spray it off with water. And it's supposed to be looking a little bit better. 
So I'm just going to continue to rub this throughout the whole light and we'll see what the end result comes out to basically. I've been sitting here for probably a good five minutes now and I can already see kind of the light most of the yellow or some of the yellow at least coming out which is a really good thing I switched to like this kind of like this green scrubby pad just kept dabbing it on there and it's actually looked like it's coming out all right even though it's not really a permanent thing something to get by wanted to try this experiment out and it kind of looks like it's working so I'm gonna keep rubbing for a couple minutes and spray it off with water we'll see how it turned out to be pretty much this is the result I feel like it looks a lot better definitely this still got some water dripping down on it but it was really yellow before that because this one's really clear don't mind the gap in the bumper fast car props but anyway it definitely looks a lot better than what it used to I know it's not a permanent thing but it's not still kind of eh. It turned out a little bit better, but just glad I got the, the hood on. I'm going to get it probably wrapped soon. It's pretty flat. All I have to do is just hit some spots on it, and then it should be good. But tonight, probably going to go to this meat still, because it's only like 5 o'clock, and we'll see what's going on there. So this is actually a couple days later. Um, nothing else really happened. It's like two days later. But the next thing I'm going to be doing is these. They're actually new rotors for the front car because mine are pretty uh, outdated. So I actually picked these up from a buddy for both for like 13 bucks. So it's pretty nice. But other than that, this is going to be the end of this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.